Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is another beautiful day in Zamunda. It is Saturday, about 10.42. Forgot to take the emergency break off. Eh. Anyways, it's like 10.30ish, 10.45, Saturday morning. It is currently 73 degrees, it's supposed to go up into probably 80s, and the monkey is not sitting inside. Well, I was this morning, but that was just because I was getting everything ready. So yesterday, obviously, I posted a shit video because all of my footage yesterday was ruined by the crappy audio from the Insta360 1R. I looked up a number of different things last night trying to figure out what I could do to fix this issue. Because whilst I'm filming on the A7 IV, you all know how I bitch and moan about how it's just too cumbersome to carry this big ass setup plus the A7 R4 with the 200 to 600 into the woods or wherever it is that I may be going. It would be very convenient if I could just put the Insta360 1R on that little chest clamp, like so, and do my filming, you know, and then, and then you get a little bit of a point of view. And it's not heavy, and technically I don't have to touch it, carry it, or whatever. And I can even clamp it off to the little cheese plate here in the Forerunner and, and get footage in the Forerunner. The problem is that it was all unusable because the audio, it just picked up every single noise every little bump every little rattle any rustling of, of my clothing or the straps or any of that shit it was quite maddening so i thought all right screw it let me get out my gopro i got out my gopro and found that that wasn't going to be any better of a solution because it takes that big ass audio adapter and this that and the other thing yankee cowboy said just get the uh the DJI, what is it, Osmo Action, whatever. And I thought to myself, okay, let me take a look at all this stuff. So I looked up and read about and watched videos on the GoPro 10, the Action 2 by DJI, the original Action, and just a whole host of other shit. The most annoying part of this is that all the videos, and there aren't many, on the Insta360 show people using it with the Rode Wireless Go and just not having an issue. And their, their audio sounded perfect. So clearly there's something going wrong with mine, at least in the respect of the audio adapter. So I don't know if my audio adapter doesn't work, if my, you know, like it's just not doing what it's supposed to do. And it's just, it, it shows that it's got an external mic, but it's picking up all the noise as if it were the in-camera microphone. So then I thought to myself, as I was watching videos on the Rode Wireless Go 2, forgetting that I can turn on internal recording on this thing. I don't even have to have the receiver. I can just grab one of these. As soon as I turn it on, I get seven hours of recording time. It's recording everything, period whether I'm filming something or not. And I thought to myself, you dumbass, why don't you just use that? So now I don't even have to hook anything up to that damn camera. I don't need an audio adapter or anything like that. I can just match up the audio when I'm doing my editing in Final Cut Pro by the waveform because that's still gonna be capturing shitty audio on the internal mics, so it'll all line up and I'll be perfect. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Right now, I'm heading to uh, VB Flea because it is freaking gorgeous out. It didn't, I don't even think it rained this morning. It was supposed to thunderstorm. And, and of course, they say it's supposed to turn to shit a little bit later today, but I'll deal with that when, it, when, you know, when the time comes, if it comes. For now, I'm just gonna go to VB Flea and you know me, I'm gonna film some dogs and take some pictures and all that kind of stuff. But for now, let's go to VB Flea and look at all the happy doggies. Okay, that was fun. 
it was packed. All the happy dogs make me happy because they're so excited to be out. Have everybody paying attention to them and petting them and stuff and all the smells. It's awesome. So I think I'm just going to head to Pleasure House Point. We'll see what we see when we get there. So let's go do that. All right, kids, we're going to try this again today. As I mentioned earlier, uh, obviously this Insta 360 1R is shit for audio. And I tried to hook my Rode Wireless Go to it, but it kept picking up what I think is the actual internal mic because I kept getting handling noise, even though that shouldn't be possible. And I don't see anybody else's footage that has that kind of handling noise. So I don't know what the hell's going on, but my solution, rather than going out and buying yet another piece of shit action camera, was to use my Rode Wireless Go 2. I forgot that you could turn on internal recording. So you don't even have to have the receiver hooked up to a camera. It just starts recording when you turn it on. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but we're gonna give that a whirl. So here we are now at Pleasure House Point, and we're gonna go in and see if we can actually get audio to sync up to this dumb thing. So far, so bad. Ooh, shit, shit, shit. I stand corrected. We have an Osprey that hit the water hard. And they got a fish. Ha! <laughs> I opened my mouth too soon to say so far so bad and BAM! Osprey catching a fish. Hell yeah. It's a lot windier out here today. And it's also a lot warmer. This is going to be a tough edit until I figure out a good flow because basically I need to start recording on the Insta360 then I need to start recording on the Rode Wireless Go 2 transmitter. I tried to shout bang to get a point where I could, you know, easily get the audio to match up. But I'm going to have to combine those. And then I'm going to have to scrub through probably at least an hour of footage. Cutting out the boring shit or the dumb shit. I'm thrilled. I could leave right now with the pictures that I got of that Osprey getting that fish. I, I could leave and be perfectly done and happy. I'm not going to, but even if I don't take another picture for the rest of the day, I am happy. I really only ever saw that one Osprey that I got and, and maybe one more that I tried to get, but it was pretty far out. Other than that, I didn't see anything else today. And I am not disappointed, though, because of those banger shots I got of that osprey catching that fish and flying away. That's what it's all about. Another gorgeous day. It didn't rain. It's been, you know, like cloudy sun, cloudy sun, but still it is 81 degrees. So I'll take it all day. And that's pretty much it for today, though. That's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.